Today, we're gonna go over our shorty levers. These are actually CNC machined from a solid block of 6061 aluminum. So this is a made in America product right here. They all come with your pivot bushing installed, your anti-rattle clip installed, and any other hardware they require for installation. So that way when you get them, you unpackage them and can just throw them on the bike. There's no taking anything off your existing levers to make these work. What's up everybody? Steve here with Speed Kings. Today, we're gonna go over our shorty levers. It's kind of something we don't really do. We've never really reviewed our own products, but I promise you to give you an unbiased review. We now make these for Dyna platform from 96 to 17, and the new 18 to 19 soft tail models. That'll include your Street Bob, your Low Rider, your Fat Bob, your Sport Glide. I haven't checked any other models besides those, but as long as it still has a cable clutch, should work out for the new models. These aren't stock levers that are cut down and re-powder coated and upcharged to you. These are actually CNC machined from a solid block of 6061 aluminum. So this is a made in America product right here. We then take them, polish them, and anodize them, and offer them in a variety of colors as you see here. From time to time with certain runs, we're gonna do some specialty colors, so make sure you stay tuned for that. They all come with your pivot bushing installed, your anti-rattle clip installed, and any other hardware they require for installation. So that way when you get them, you unpackage them and can just throw them on the bike. There's no taking anything off your existing levers to make these work. When we design these, we design them to be able to use three fingers. So it's a pretty tight on the third finger, um, just for you guys that like to use two fingers. But they're really nice, they're really comfortable. We've got a lot of good reviews out there. All of our shorty levers and any other products that we make can always be found at Speed kingcyclecom so make sure and go check it out. So you can see, three, two, three, two. Comfortable shit. We're gonna run you through how to install these little beauties right here. We already have them on the bike, but we're gonna go ahead and kind of walk you through removing these ones, which would be the same process of removing your stock one, and then throwing these ones back on. So. Watch and go. We're gonna have to go ahead and remove this uh, front blinker right here. We'll go ahead and just remove the bolt from the mirror stem. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the blinker off and just let it dangle. The mirror is just gonna be loose now. You can leave it there, ain't gonna hurt nothing. From there, we're gonna go ahead and remove this retaining clip right there. Be careful, they bend easy. Just a nice little bit of pressure. Lock it in and pull it off. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and push up on this pin. You might have to wiggle the lever just slightly to kind of get it loose and pull it all the way out. Once we pull that pin out, we're gonna go ahead and just remove the two screws from our control housings. The lower control housing here that goes into the brake lever perch kind of blocks your lever in there. So once you have that removed, your lever just comes right out. So now we have the lever off. This would be essentially where you're at if you had pulled your stock levers off. So we're gonna go back and just install the lever again. We kind of have everything still pulled down. We're gonna go ahead and get this back in there. Make sure your throttle by wire grip housing is in the right position. Anything that's not there, it basically just takes some wiggling to get where it needs to be. There we go. And you'll know everything's in the right spot because obviously you have this little notch right here that has to line up with your brake lever perch and your hole's gonna line up right there. Once you get that position, you can go ahead and just push your pin back through. You can feel it pressing against the brake lever switch. Put your top cap back on. Before you screw everything down, just test your throttle out real quick, make sure everything's working properly. Go ahead and pop your screws back in. So we'll put our snap ring back in location. Be again, be careful not to overspread these. They are very delicate. So you're looking just to spread it just enough to get over it, and that's it. Lock it in that ridge, make sure she don't come off, and you're good to go. So now we have the nut started, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that our lever pin is in the recess of our blinker mount, and go ahead and tighten our nut on the mirror stem. Once you've made sure your mirror is in the right position, go ahead and just tighten it down. Once you're done with that side, you can go ahead and move to the clutch side. On these new 2018, 2019 bikes, one of the major changes that you'll run into is the clutch cable. It's a completely different design. To install the clutch lever, you need to unadjust the clutch cable. So what we gotta do is we just basically gotta pull this red clip out a little bit, and then it'll actually be able to uh, compress and release. All right, so I'm no whiz at it, but what I usually do is just kind of do that 
and you can see how it's popped out. Now you can compress to the spring and move the position. On the clutch side, it's not as necessary to remove um, the blinker, but we're gonna get it out of the way just so we can get a better view. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just get this snap ring off with our fancy snap ring pliers. You gotta, sometimes you gotta get it in both holes. Again, be gentle. You don't wanna stretch these out. Hopefully they edit this and make it look way cooler than it is. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and just pop our pin through. And kind of grab your clutch cable and pull it out and the lever at the same time and slide everything out. They're a little different than your standard Dyna ones. Um, before it was just a barrel. This one actually has kind of this weird little clip that you can see locks in that recess. So they're just, the, these pieces are just a little bit different, but same, same theory, you just lock it in and it, and it doesn't move around. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it back in. So we're gonna take our clutch cable, put it back in its little recess right there, put in our clutch pin. Make sure it's locked in location right there. Your anti-rattle clip right here goes down. You're gonna grab your clutch cable and kind of pull it out around. You take a clutch pin, line it up, pop your clutch pin back through. You're gonna take your snap ring and spread it just ever so slightly and just get it locked into position. There we go. There's a little ridge on the pin so you'll know when it's in locked in, you, you know, it's good to go. From there, you just put your blinker back on the mirror stem. Kind of put our mirror where I believe it needs to be. Tighten everything down. Make sure it's nice and straight. The spring is gonna push out any of the slack. Kinda boom, boom, boom. And you just push that into place. That's it. Your clutch cable is adjusted. Slide the sleeve back down. Cover up all that gross yellow. And that's it. She's ready to rip. We just went through and installed our 2018-2019 Softail Shorty levers. You can find these levers at speed-kingcycle.com along with all the other products we review on our YouTube channel. Make sure to go check it out and support small business. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill.